Mabu hey, Kamasta Kayo, and welcome to another video. And welcome to part 3 of my indoor cacti and succulent collection tour. We're going through all the plants I have that live indoors all year round on south facing window sills. There will be a part 4 as well, as I don't think I'll be able to squeeze everything that's left into this video. But we'll see. So yeah, let's get straight into it. First up, Copiapoa hypogea. Showed a couple of different forms of this in part 1. If you haven't seen the previous two videos, I'll link those in the description below. Next is a lovely Parodia wernery. You might sometimes still see it with its old name of Notocactus bulmanianus. These get lovely purple flowers. Got a couple of these in the collection, but they haven't flowered yet. Here is the other one. Slightly different form to this one. More of an enormous variety. Doesn't have many spines. I did have another one that lived in the greenhouse but lost it to rot unfortunately. Nice gymno this one. Qualianum. Bloomed a couple of times. Again, if I can find the pictures when certain plants were in flower, I'll put those up on screen as well. Another nice gymno, Raganesi. This flowered last summer, but didn't this year. Not sure what caused that mark on it. It's always had it. It's not spread or anything, so I'm not too worried about it. Copiapoa atacomensis. This one flowered earlier in the year. Like pretty much all Copiapoa, the flowers are very similar to one another and usually always yellow. Nice Thello cactus here. Love the shape of this one and how the spines are arranged. I think I said in a previous video I've got several Thello cactus, but I haven't had any of them flower yet. Another Thello cactus. Awesome looking spines on this one as well. And another one. Lovely form to this one as well. And another one. This one suffered from a bit of mite damage last year. You can see those marks there. Really is annoying when pest damage plants. Some lithops. I'm actually surprised these are still alive. I've not had much luck with these in the past. These seem to be doing well though. Path from Purple and Thorns kindly sent these to me, so I'm under a bit more pressure to keep these ones alive. Little Gymno Mahanovici. Bit of red variegation in this one. Some of the plants I'll be showing in this part and part 4 did feature in a recent variegated video I did, as well as a Euphorbia video, so I hope you don't mind seeing them again. Some little Libivia arachnacantha, which were offsets I took from another plant. And they rooted up pretty quickly. Nice big sulfur yellow flowers on these, although you can get them in other colours as well. Nice Rebutia heliosa, another that my friend Phil sent to me a couple of years ago that he grew from seed, I think. 
has already flowered as well. One of my favourite Rebutias, that one. Another one here from Phil, Tephra Cactus Geometricus. Hasn't done much and can be one of the more challenging Tephra Cactus to keep happy. They can be rot prone and do like good ventilation. Another nice rebuti of this one, Narvasensis. Gorgeous flowers on this one. And this one was a gift as well from Anna of Cactus Caffeine. Grew a couple of new offsets on it this year. The only Adramiscus I have, another that was gifted to me by Magda's Cactus and Succulents here on YouTube. Doing pretty well, but I think these look nicer if they get more light. Even though this is on a south facing windowsill, I don't think it's as compact as it could be. Cool looking euphorbia this one, Debilispina. Love the colour of this plant. And how the areas where the thorns come out of resemble little cow skulls. Very cool euphorbia. Matukana Palsy, an absolute pupping machine this plant, needs deep pupping next year I think and a repot as well. Good beginner cactus this one. Stenocactus Multicastatus, the only stenocactus I have that lives indoors, all the others live in the greenhouse. These are pretty good beginner cactus as well. Just watch out for mealy bugs on these. They like to wedge themselves and hide between those wavy ribs. Sulca Rebutia Roshi. Flowered a couple of times this one. I had another one of these indoors but it etchulated even though it was getting the same amount of light as this one. This one is nice and compact though. Another variety of Rebutia heliosa, Condorensis. This gets lovely scarlet red flowers. Didn't flower this year, like a couple of other Rebutia I have, it was busy making offsets instead. Another Rebutia, and another that got attacked and damaged by spider mites. Rebutia do seem to be a favourite for them to feed on. These and Lophophora especially. Another Rebutia. This one the mites left alone thankfully, even though it was next to the previous one I just showed. Maybe this one doesn't taste as nice as that one. And another Rebutia. Nice clump in one this. And gets nice pinkish white flowers. Do a repot next year as well, I think. Crazy spine gymnocalisium. Quite a lot of corking on this. But just like a copia poa I showed in part one, I think some of this is isopropyl alcohol damage. This is another cactus that doesn't like having that sprayed on it. Little Euphorbia gabizan, or Euphorbia ex japonica, which is a cross between Euphorbia Susanne and one I can't remember the name of. I'll put it up on screen though. Quite a slow growing Euphorbia I found though. Variegated Gymnocalisium Mahanovici. Nice mix of colours in this one. Edith got me this one, as well as the previous Euphorbia. A 
another Edith got for me. This one flowered and set seed this year. Hopefully we get some variegated seedlings germinate. Another very nice gymno Edith got for me. Again, lovely form to this one and a lovely colour as well. And another beauty of a gymno Edith got for me. Pretty fast grower this one. Only been in this pot for a year and it's already outgrown it. Awesome looking spines. Another Edith got for me, Libivia Solaris. It's a hybrid that if I remember correctly gets stunning tricolored flowers on it. Not flowered yet, but hopefully it does next year. couple of lofts here that Edith got for me also. There was three in this pot but one was a gift for someone else. And again because they're lofts, got to keep an eye out for those pesky spider mites. Gymnocalesium bordianum. Had a hard life this gymno. I did a video on this about three years ago showing its recovery from having root mealybug. It was so badly infested I had to cut all the roots off. Nice healthy strong plant now though. Another awesome gymno this one, Vattery, single spine form. And this was a lovely surprise gift from Dorita of Pure Plant UK. Had a couple of buds on it when I got it but they did drop off after it got potted up. Again, hopefully it flowers next year. Big Echinopsis subdenudata. Flowers every year, sometimes two or three times with multiple flowers. Has a bud on it now, but that's been there for a while. We'll probably sit there until next year. And another that's desperate for a repot. Euphorbia symmetrica. Got some viable seeds from this in the summer. Euphorbia obesa is my favourite euphorbia, but this is a close second. They are pretty similar. And a slightly larger Symmetrica. Again, pollinated this one and got some viable seed from it. Already sowed the seeds and they've germinated and doing pretty well. I'll do an update video on those seedlings soon. Nice variegated Euphorbia Ritchie. Had lots of leaves on it in the summer, but now we're heading into the winter, they've all come off. Quite a few offsets on this as well. Might propagate a couple of those next year. Another nice euphorbia this one, Lactea White Ghost. Not the easiest plant to find for sale in the UK. I've seen little cuttings about the size of the branches this one has on itself for a high price on eBay. In other countries this is pretty easy to find though, even in nurseries. Euphorbia Lenutoni. Nice shrub like euphorbia. Pretty fast grower as well this one. This does need a repot, but I'm not looking forward to that. This isn't the easiest plant to handle. Caroluma hesperidum. One of those plants that get very stinky flowers on them. This hasn't flowered yet, but maybe that's a good thing. Weird rubber-like texture to this plant. Lovely Gasteria species. 
Lynn from Desert Plants of Avalon sent me this a couple of years ago. Grown a lot. Does need repotting as well. A little offset on it too. And finally for this part, this awesome looking Astrophyte Mysterious hybrid from Dorita again. This did flower not long after I got it as well, which was a nice surprise. Stunning plant. So that's it for part three. Like I said, there will be a part four, which will be the final part of the indoor collection. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and comment consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video. You will be safe and well and I shall see you next time. Salam Pop Alam. Bye for now.